Hi there, welcome to the next video and uh, in this video I will show you how you can first of all uh, create something which is called as moving average. It's used a lot in uh, in stock market or technical analysis as well as uh, in your normal business scenarios where you want to see on an average based on last 30 days period or 7 days period or 14 days period uh, based on how we define uh, the number of period or number of days how our sales look like so for example I have a sales uh, chart over here that we created in the previous video based on the user input of date range uh, if you click over here on this bill and go to quick uh, calculation let me just do it again quick table calculation and uh, then you have the moving average so if you see the moving average it has changed it to uh, a default moving average and uh, to basically uh, edit the table calculation you can edit and it will say that moving calculate average previous two and it is cell specific dimension you can choose uh, that really you know uh, a matter that how we want to decide it but here you have the option of previous two values and uh, you can change it to uh, whatever value that we want uh, 14 days or maybe 20 days this is a matter of uh, a statistician or an economic traction who is basically deciding which moving average is looking good all right and once you have then uh, uh, you can just uh, click ok or move come out but uh, so the thing is uh, how you can make it dynamic well, end user will not be able to go into it and you will also not be able to go into it once it is in production so um, what you can do is uh, drag this over here in the measure and uh, name it as moving average and now here you will see the calculation go to edit and here is our windows average function within that the first parameter is what you want to make an average uh, the number of period and up until the current period so uh, this is basically 20 so if we make it dynamic this then we can make the moving average dynamic right so what I'll do is I will just go and uh, create a parameter and uh, probably we will make a moving average range and I'll just keep it uh, range which is uh, minimum is uh, two days one day doesn't make any sense because one day will be equal to what your actual data is and maximum is let's say 500 because sometimes people even look at 200 days or 400 days moving average so that should be a good range and click OK once I have it here uh, I'll just uh, show parameter control and let's keep it like uh, so this is moving average coming in a float value so what I'll do is uh, I'll just go in edit and uh, make it integer and click OK so now it is 30 31 40 41 whatever it is now moving average go to edit and simply replace this part not the negative part it's basically going back to 20 period that's why negative is mentioned so what I'll do is I will simply say moving average range and click apply and OK once I click apply whatever changes that I will be making it is happening over here but it is not showing you here because it needs to be replaced so I will put it moving average okay I'm changing now this is changing I'm changing up it is changing as per what my moving average is all right so that's about it I wanted to show you um, how you can create a moving average um, a dynamic moving average within Tableau so that uh, you are giving the power to the end user